Black Panther of Wakanda on Storm of the Uncanny X-Men were some of the most established African descent characters out of any within Marvel Comics canon on respective lore. Both characters have had decades of stories on decades of relationships with various other characters of related adventures on X-Men associations. But the speculative scenario is this, why were Black Panther and Storm married? In particular, Aurora Monroe was firmly developed with relationships relationships both professional and personal. Writer Chris Claremont made her one of the most developed out of the X-Men that he introduced in the late 1970s. That made her one of the most experienced and enriched women out of all X-Men related fiction. To the contrary, T'Challa of Wakanda was a seldomly used character at the time, and writers did not necessarily use him for relationships with other female characters. Technically, he held minor, even non-existent love interests at that time, but he lacked development with other other characters in the early 2000s, African American social and political activist Reginald Hudlin was given permission to write Black Panther. On the run that he established at the time was considered controversial and reinterpreted the Black Panther character. The decision to put him onto the comic was beneficial due to T'Challa not having much character development since his creation, but detractive also because Reginald Hudlin wrote his own political and social points of view within the comics. Stories. So it was considered out of character for what T'Challa would say and do at the time. Despite neither character having much interactions with each other previously, Reginald Hudlin wrote improvised stories with them on eventually having the pair get married. Comic readers of the time were sharply critical of the maneuver because Storm had a long history of romantic interests with the X-Men as mentioned. On Black Panther was only technically used more than a background supporting character to the Avengers up until that time as mentioned. The prevailing theory was that both Black Panther and Storm were leading black comic characters. On Reginald Hudlin put the both of them together regardless of comic history due to social and political trends in the United States from the early 21st century. Despite mixed reactions from comic readers, Marvel decided to emphasize the importance of the controversial wedding in the comics. The equally controversial Civil War was temporarily stopped to give importance and focus to the wedding in the X-Men and Avengers comics. Once married, the pair were seen together to promote the union on the increased activities between the Avengers and X-Men. But again, the super teams had no long-time reasons for increased communications or contact, so the only real reasons why either faction were in contact with one another were due to the marriage on situations of black. Black Panther with Storm. From information now known, despite Marvel popularizing the event, readers responded to it with subpar reactions on the union between T'Challa and Aurora were somewhat tense at times, which was why it was eventually annulled in the Avengers vs X-Men event, because by that time Black Panther was being written on expanding upon more in modern Marvel comics due to increased casual interests from Marvel Studios movies, depicting Chadwick Boseman's portrayal of Black Black Panther. So a combination of character development and neutral attitudes towards both characters in a marriage never had the said marriage become fully accepted by comic readers. 